Let's get to the first text for you. Why do they have a nose swab instead of a mouth swab for the coronavirus test? Now, the nose swab is like a Q-tip and it goes way in. Yes. Is that the one I'm seeing? Yes, it is. It goes into the back of the way into the back of the nose. Uh, and that's because that's uh, uh, a sampling place for where the virus typically resides and is in heavy concentration. Uh, but also it can be in the back of the throat as well. Uh, so we like to sample both places just uh, for uh, maximum sampling capability. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one of those. Is it is it painful? Do you know? I mean, it's like four times longer than a Q-tip or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it, lo it, it looks very invasive, uh, but really it's not that bad. Uh, it's certainly not painful. It is a little bit uncomfortable, but okay. not painful. All right, that's good to know. All right, next text coming in. Uh, it's getting warm outside. We're expected to hit 90 in the next couple of days. Is there a temperature, and we've talked about this with, with other medical experts, is there a certain temperature where it really helps kill the virus? We don't, so we don't know that answer. This is a novel virus, even though it's in the family of coronavirus, it is new. Uh, and we don't know exactly how it will behave. We do know that other coronaviruses uh, seem to be heat sensitive and decrease uh, in uh, their prevalence uh, during warm uh, temperatures. But uh, we, we don't know how this one will behave. We think it will but we certainly don't have a, a, a target temperature for that. Okay, the next one is kind of the, the one that everybody really wants to know. Uh, in your opinion, um, when do you think we're gonna have a vaccine? The FDA normally, you know, it takes what, 18 months, sometimes longer. This seems to be, uh, you know, a need and a desire that this be much sooner. Well, we're working very hard on that. Uh, obviously we have many researchers uh, and uh, institutions uh, working as fast as possible. What really takes time is uh, the testing in human subjects uh, this, uh, to make sure that it's safe, that uh, patients uh, are not having untoward reactions uh, to the preparation and also that it works. And it's that testing uh, that takes time. You've got to have an adequate number of uh, patients who are, um, who are being administered the vaccine and um, you just have to follow those uh, patients over time uh, to make sure that it is effective and it's safe. Mm -hmm. We started this uh, all the way back in, I think, January when the, um, the novel virus was first identified. So if you start the clock from there and you go out for a year, which is the typical, roughly the typical time for a, a vaccine, we're talking about early winter, I have a feeling that may get pushed up a little uh, faster. We're all hoping that we might see it in the late fall, which would be perfect yes. for uh, the flu season. Uh, so I don't have an answer other than I know that all of the research institutions uh, and manufacturers are working furiously to have a vaccine. And then of course, it's how fast can it be produced and how widely distributed and all of those questions. But uh, just to get the vaccine, uh, will be critical and i'm thinking maybe late fall well that would be that would be perfect as you said the timing would be amazing because the regular flu shot and the shot for pneumonia is, it does not help with covid 19. Uh, next one coming in uh all this hand washing and sanitizing that we've been talking about it's irritating my skin says the texter is that a sign i'm washing my hands too much well, our hands naturally and our skin naturally has oil that protects it. And when you're frequently washing and sanitizing, uh, you're removing that oil, uh, which uh, is a little bit detrimental to skin. Uh, the sanitizers are alcohol based. That tends to be a little bit harsher. Uh, that's why mild soap and water is what we recommend. Um, and then um, supplementing uh, your skin oils uh, with lotions and, and uh, other creams and so forth uh, may be necessary. And occasionally when you know patients really are affected by this, there are uh, medicated creams mm -hmm. and lotions that can be used to, to restore the skin's integrity. Yeah, I think that's, that's great advice. Continue to wash your hands vigorously. And then if they are getting a little raw, you know, use some nice hand cream, uh, you know, help yourself out a little bit. Dr. Rick, it's been great visiting with you as always. Good text for doctor and uh, great answers. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you again soon.